How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another how to beat. Is this the best deck? Kostura, we're gonna find out. Kostura is still incredibly strong. Super annoying and boring to play against in my opinion, but you know, this is the best deck we got a deal. We're playing the 60 card build, really, really insane. Again, shout out to my boy Nicholas for coming up with this, building this, topping the French Nationals with this. I've been playing it ever since I saw his deck list. It's on my channel as well, check it out. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. I think I'm on like a 15 win streak on DB right now with this deck. It's just so fun, but we're coming up to the big boys. Kostura is here. Before we begin, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, let's kick this off. They are going first. So we have no interruptions because this, play, this deck plays no non-engine cards, which is crazy. But again, we're going to have to try to break the board here, which is not going to be incredibly easy because they have full combo. So now they banish three off the top of my deck. We cannot see the, those cards. Um, they go for the Arise Heart with three materials, set preparations, and pass. So what can we do here? Standby phase, some of the Fenrir. This is going to be the most hard to interact with element here. So we actually have engine to a lot of really, really good cards, but we also have some dead cards in hand like Lubelion and Deer Servant. Ideally, what you want to do in this scenario, um, my preferred play here is to either go for a Dragoon line immediately or go for um, a Rindbrum line. So the Rindbrum line, basically, you summon a Rindbrum from the deck, then you activate the Mercurior since it was banished, one of the materials, it was banished because of Rise Heart, you grab Fallen Valbaz to your hand, normal summon the Albaz, activate the effect, steal one of their monsters, and clear the biggest threats on the board. However, they do have a Fenrir, which changes things because now if you go for Rindbrim, activate the Mercurier, they get to trigger Fenrir and they can banish you Rindbrim. So we're trying to break this board. I, the problem is that Dragoon here wouldn't have done enough because they have Scarecrow Kostura, but we're going to have to see. Um, branded opening, start baiting out some negates and interruptions here. Grab Branded Lost. Branded Lost is huge. Because if we can resolve Branded Lost, the Fenrir doesn't activate. So they banish my Lubelion, which is very, very big. Um, really hard. Maybe should have gone for the Dragoon first. They banish the Branded Lost. Um, like I wanted them to. They block another zone. Kostura Big Bang summons out Ogre. Polly. Try to bait out some of the interruptions here. Chimera. Draw two cards. Pop one. I need to get rid of the Fenrir. Basically, this was my threat. Then they um, banish, uh, you know, they banish one off my top. And now I'm free to activate Branded Fusion here. Um, they block another zone for me. And unfortunately, I cannot keep going before the battle phase. I need to clear the monster, regain Branded Fusion, preparations. And they, they still haven't activated Fenrir, unfortunately. Um, so I go, for, I go for the line I wanted to because I still have a normal summoned. And now they go for the Fenrir. They go after the regained. They attach. Alba is normal. Yep. This, this is a solid way of playing through this board. This is one way you should play around this board. They did banish the Lubelion off the top, like right in their first banished with the uh, Unicorn. So it was really hard to go from a Dragoon from there. But again, if you go for Dragoon, it's usually really good. But, you know, they could just chain the Kostria Scareclaw, for example. Um, you could pop it with the Dragoon, honestly, but I don't know what was the correct line. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about the, this? Again, it's really hard. When they have these two cards, it doesn't really matter what you do. If you don't have a way to pop these, um, you lose, basically. So we kind of grind it out a little bit until I kind of have uh, <laughs> no more energy to go for it. I wanted to see if he can make if he makes some mistakes. He did, did not play this 100% correct, in my opinion. He goes for a pretty greedy line. Um, yeah, now they can get a Rise Heart. I do, uh, don't have Mirror Jade live anymore. They basically clear my board from here. I do have opening, which does work sometimes, but, uh, again, too much of a disadvantage. These two are just too powerful. Luber, Branded Red, and, um, Branded Fusion. I just admit defeat at this point because it was really worth it, not worth it. Um, I do have Droplet, which is not 100% good against this deck, but we're going to have to see. Lava Golem trades well with the, with the Dragoon here. 
So I play it out. I basically have um, full control. I'll be on make branded in red live in case they have, uh, you know, in case they have imperm. Draw two cards, draw into another droplet. Really unfortunate. Uh, two albas already out from the deck. Branded Lost, Branded Fusion. If I get ashed here, it's really, really hor horrific. Um, Branded Lost, grab this. Yeah, because I have another Alabaz in Grave. Pitch Droplet, go for Mirror Jade here. Then um, there's no reason to bring back the Lubelion in this case. And Ad Lib, you know, this is the board. Yep. Bring back Artesia, set Retribution. Um, this could go really well into things like Cost Your Birth, for example. And now they activate Prosperity. Remember this Prosperity, okay? Because this is going to get toxic. Um, you can only activate one pot of Prosperity, and you cannot draw cards by card effects for the turn you activate this card. Remember this before it gets a little bit toxic. So here they see two unicorns, Madame Spider, for some reason, they grab it. Uh, they don't grab it, sorry. They grab the Talents here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so now I know there's a Talents. And I need to, like, come to a decision on whether I activate the Mirror Jade here. Because it, it does not let them draw cards. They can only take or look at my hand. And since I have Droplet and in red, it's not that bad. I decide to do that because they're not going to end on any board, which is good. Raid Soth, grab Unicorn here. Unicorn effect, Droplet, Pitch, Retribution, which is very good because that's going to give us a lot of follow-up. And it is negated. Talents to draw. I miss this completely. I forget that they do. They activate Prosperity. We're going to catch on to that in a second. So um, I go for Brandon Red, Chimera to pop the Unicorn here, summon back the Mirror Jade, and then basically we are onto it. They want to rewind. I'm like, you know, we drew cards. It's a little bit too late for that. Um, it was an illegal play out of my opponent. So we just go to... Um, th this was my game anyway, but um, just for the fairness... Usually, I don't know, let me know in the comments if this was, um, you know, too petty, because we both drew cards, he got information on my board because of cards I activated. I don't, I don't know if I was really, like, too petty about this, not wanting to rewind and just going to the next game. I pretty much already have the game locked from then on, but just for all fairness, if this was an IRL tournament, this is a game loss, like, drawing after Prosperity is a game loss, so just make sure you know that. Going second, for some reason... I keep in the droplet. You know, I don't, like, all my side cards here, because it's 60 cards, you put in everything. You pull, put in your entire side when you go second. So, you know, droplet could come in useful, but again, Arise Heart is hard. So they basically pop off here. Um, no shifter is good for us, but otherwise, it's still going to be an uphill battle in this scenario. So Unicorn, and this is the, you know, the regular old shenanigans. There's no need to elaborate too much they do have baron the floor and we need to draw a good board breaker card um i think the top card here was branded fusion if i'm not mistaken since we were looking at this live so we are going up against a very similar board here we got a negate we got this birth is not so scary here they do have ash but birth is not so scary here because we don't have any graveyard and of course we have this horrible card um, which is just super annoying we have two ways of getting to our board breaker, so let's start doing that. Draw two cards, draw into Dark Ruler no more. This really, really, really sets up the hand really good. Like this card against Cash is very, very strong. Dark Ruler does not give you back your zones because this card is still on the field. So you need to remove it in order to get your zones back. Now we can freely go for Albion, grab a Luber here, which is really good. We never forget to Cartesia first. Albert, Chain. Albaz here. We want to get rid of some things on the board. We want to start popping cards and drawing. So we grab Brian Diffusion, Chimera to draw one, pop two, pop the Arise Heart and draw one card. Um, then they draw, I think, because they wanted to scoop or something. I'm not really sure. Oh, they drew because of uh, Garura, right? Um, they had Garura. You should definitely call it out. Then we draw more cards. Allure, draw more cards. Um, we uh, get ashed here, but thankfully we have Albaz and Deployment. We get rid of a lot of cards from hand. We go for battle, clear out their board. We um, 
This mark. Oh, right. Again, this was something that you need to remember. This was 3,300 defense. So I had to spend my banish on it. But I have droplet here. So what I do here is get in red. Now, my plan here was to droplet whatever they summon. Just pray that they don't have birth, basically. Droplet whatever they summon. We're in mirror jade. Then I can make another mirror jade with Brandon Red and Albaz. That was the game plan. But they draw really, really good. So, unicorn. Droplet. Um, they attack into it because they need their field. Fenrir effect. Um, on summon. Make a mirror jade. Banish it. They draw two cards. Um, they pass turn to me. Deployment. Get the Cartesia. This is everything that I can do at this point. They need to draw engine. But my mirror jade will be live afterwards. So, yeah. Pretty intense match. Really hard to play against Kashua. You need to out-resource them, which is very hard. You need to break their board with... Like, you need really strong board break, as you saw. You need things like Droplet, Dark Ruler, and of course, not, of that, not all of that helps a lot of the time because they have things like Shifter, Rise Heart, stuff like that. So, let me know what do you think about this matchup. How are you feeling against Kashua this format? Leave a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.